Hey guys, what's going on? So I've gotten, oh Lord, a hundred comments in the last week about this. How to remove the front wheel on your Shark Ion or IQ Series robot. <clears throat> this is gonna be for both and it's gonna be a very basic demonstration on how to remove it. I'm not gonna go into full detail on one method. So it's gonna depend on the model robot you actually have, okay? So let's get into okay. that. Whether you have an older 7 Series or 1000 Series, or a newer 1000 Series, or a 2000 Series, you're going to have a little black rubber wheel. That's how you put it back in. Here's how to remove it. You need to get a flathead, just like this one, okay? You can either, this is hard to do one-handed, but I'm going to try. Um, actually, let me, let me put it on a tripod. Okay, so I actually picked a robot that has another issue. Let me grab another wheel. So, all right. So, here we have a 1000 series robot. You're going to take the flathead screwdriver, come over to the side. Very simple. Just going to pry up one side, spin it around, pry up the other side. This little rubber wheel will come out. Clean off any dog hair, any human hair, put it to the side. In order to remove this, you are gonna have to remove two screws here and here. Then this will come out. Stay tuned if you don't have those screws. I'm gonna tell you how to get the other ones out. So you remove that one. And you remove that one and it comes out it's one unit just like this if it's not spinning you need to replace it that's what it looked like now that's for 700 800 and thousand series with screws on the outside then you have this series this is a thousand series as well same model number as the other one that has the screws you see the two holes, but no screws. You have to completely disassemble this robot, remove the motherboard all the way down to this piece, remove the two screws that come out. It's not necessary. As long as this is spinning freely, you don't need to. If you decide to remove it by force, via right head screwdriver by prying it up, here's what you'll get. You're gonna get this and you're gonna be like, okay. They go back in. Yeah, they go back in. And sometimes, like this one, it's going to catch. You're going to be lucky. You'll be able to flip it over, and it's not going to come out. Nine times out of ten, though, I wish I had a broken one here I could show you. You know what? Let's try to break this one. All right, we pop the wheel out. Pop that out. It didn't break still. But a lot of times... Oh, there it goes. It broke. So... We're gonna use this wheel as an example. There is a little clip right here that holds on that groove this to this, this white piece to the metal shaft. The way to get that apart is to take it out and then you can take a flathead and you can pry it up and pull it off. It's not as easy as it looks. It's actually kind of a pain and it's really unnecessary to be honest. But when you break that tab, you get a loose front wheel. So every time you pick it up and flip it back over, a lot of times it will actually fall out. So the best way to do it is to remove it from disassembling the robot. The only reason you need to remove the front wheel is if it's not spinning. If this part, the rubber part, isn't spinning, super easy. You can literally just take it out, clean it up, get a new one of these. You have to order it on eBay. I do not have an eBay store anymore for everyone that is asking. I have taken my eBay store down. I was going to make a shop, but the problem is a lot of people that watch my videos get confused because it's not their fault. RV1001AE. RV1001AV. Two completely different robots. Different parts. So unfortunately guys, it's very difficult to get the right correct parts when people just wanna hit the buy now button. If you need parts, I recommend doing your research on what part you need. Send me full description, videos, and pictures of what model and what part you need. As you can see, I do have a lot of parts. I don't stock every part. 
Some of these robots, speaking of which, 1,001 AEs. I have 10 of these, 10 of them. Every single one of them has sensor and motherboard issues. Just being honest. <laughs> the brush motors are fine. Everything else is fine. It's either a bad motherboard, it's ran through dog poop or pee, cat pee, whatever, and the sensors are bad or someone decided they were going to clean it with water. If you have a sensor error or a motherboard error, warranty it. Do not try to fix it unless you are absolutely 100% sure you either need a motherboard or sensors because both of those parts combined are gonna cost you nearly what you can get one of these units on sale at. These are $199. By the time you pay for the motherboard, the sensors, shipping, and someone to fix it, if you're not gonna, you're gonna be at the $200 mark. And just the sensors and motherboard are gonna run over $100. So that's just my input. For some reason, some of you guys have thought I became a total a-hole or something because I'm not replying to emails and e eBay messages. I promise it's not that guys. <laughs> it's not. I'm getting a hundred emails a day from people, whether it's parts or need repair. Look, I don't repair these for people unless they're local. Shipping on these is not worth it. I cannot guarantee what is wrong with your robot, the cost and everything. Look, you can buy these for $200 to $500 brand spanking new. If you have uh, a self-empty one, you're looking at $100 just for a self-empty unit, not including parts to fix your robot if that's it. I'm sorry, guys. If you want to fix these, it's best to either call the warranty department, contact someone local that can do it, or order another broken robot and try to piece one together eBay has gone crazy with their fees. That's why I no longer sell on eBay. It's just not worth it. I'm, I'm literally getting parts cheaper than I ever have before. And I literally can barely make a profit. I love making videos and helping y'all out. But when it comes to me actually selling the parts, by the time I buy the part, take it apart, ship it, send it, get paid by ebay they take their fees paypal takes their fees pay taxes it's non-stop it really is it, it's literally it, it's less than 20 percent margins by the time you because there's so many people on ebay right now trying to sell these parts and and all the scams i cannot tell you how many times i have sold a pair of wheels being a good seller accepted a return because they ordered the wrong thing being like okay it happens and getting their broken wheels back. That burns me up. And those things cost me money. And it takes it takes for me. I, I'm out, depending on the unit, anywhere from $25 to $100. Not to mention that $80 that you bought the two wheels for shipped to you, I've now got to pay shipping on and the fees back. And then I got to wait for the money. And then it's a, just a big tax ordeal. And it's it's crazy. The amount of time that it used to take to list and sell parts and the profits were great. Now with eBay's new new crap, I, I don't want nothing to do with it. I'm sorry, guys. If you want parts, mess with me directly. Give me a detailed description, videos of your robot, and I'll get you the parts when I can get to it. But I am overloaded right now with messages and comments. Um, it's crazy. It's really sad, honestly, because there's so many people trying to sell parts and i've had a number of people messing me and say hey i ordered these parts from you i don't have an ebay store i haven't had an ebay store in months and they're like oh well i ordered them from so i'm like that's not me and they ordered the wrong parts they're mad at me not my fault if you want parts email me directly we'll work something out it might take me a little bit to get to you just don't get frustrated but guys thanks for watching hit that like button if you have any questions comment below i'll try to get to you but like i'm saying Literally, while making this video, this part of the video, which is three minutes long, I've had two, <laughs> two YouTube comments. And one was robots, and the other one was Fortnite. So, all right. Later on.